Ekiombe kia mwasi lieta kisi Central Rotary Club Ekiyo kia wakali wabu kwa libu wabu ime agusini Ogi ya chengeri mire mwabu asigeka Abu wa sabara hii abu ya wanyara kwa wako kwa wako kwa wako kwa gasi yabu Abu watani aokuro wa chinsi ya mchanya nza Niko wanyara kwa wako ikira na asuma hivyo yu Natoko manjiwa na mwali kito Franklin Mayunga Omo yega woku ena nobara ya weki ombe kekweruka kisi Central Rotary Club Nigo kore kana gati gati hiyo mbogani we taoni ya kisi Mwego yo kukura wano yo kabere mwara yo mkoro Oyo oro avisi Nigo ayene kia evi intuwe vinge Vya magendero Ebiye bako re ime kaunti ya kisi Nyamira na homa be Evi intu vuna obre miwebe suma vya mache Okonya chimichi ya banto ime ya nyamira Amo nevi nde vinge Today we are here for the fifth installation For Rotary Club of Kisi Central We are happy to change over leadership To the new president my year was 2023 to 2024. We finish on 30th of June. I'm handing over to a new president, Rotarian Beatrice Nyamache. What we have achieved is a lot. We are based in Kisi County. We've done some work in both Kisi, Nyamira, and Homa Bay counties. We were able to do a borehole in a region called Emesa, Bomachoge Borabu. We were able to help communities in Nyasumi, which is Nyamira County. 300 households benefited from the project. Thank you so much. My name is uh, President Elect and Charter President Beatrice Kerubo Nyamache. I have been uh, serving uh, this club as a membership director and now I'm the incoming president. I want to really appreciate uh, my outgoing predecessor who has been serving the club for the last one year. In Rotary we have uh, a duration from July to June. It's called the Rotary Year. Abaraya abaya nigo bago kiwane ngane yo Asikiri wuna nigo baine ke wuna Ngo kendra bare nigo singi ya Wuna okobai kange hawa na chinyaruka Ko kendra chiskuru a a Heri okoba kwanera na kogesa Okwegena kati ya basai Amana banto bonsi So I'm glad to be continuing with the work That the club has been doing We have been embarking on different projects To empower the community We have been empowering communities To enhance the economic power uh, so that they can be able to economically help themselves come out of poverty because we have realized poverty is an underlying factor in the community and yet we have resources which we can use like land skills so what we have done is we have been trying to go community by community trying to empower so that is what i'll continue with i'll continue working with the communities together so that we can be able to enhance the programs to do with water sanitation disease prevention uh, empower our girls in terms of uh, education and literacy to reduce the teenage pregnancies which lag girls behind in Kisi community. Boigo, nigo baira makungu ayabagu itira. Ekero, wako ene kia wakoreli wabo mbuna aso sinyano kachira shukuru. Ase, wane kia kubare ndabuya na kubakonya kubachanchiria magimabo abosio. We have a challenge of girls children staying in school. That is why we want to give them more sanitary towels and um, mentorship for them to know how to handle themselves during the period and also to concentrate in school so that they can do better and be at the same power with the boy child. So we do a lot of mentorship programs, we visited a few schools and we hope to reach more in the coming year. Nigo, baina kia merobere wabuate hochi asa chika ontecho. Na kuwene kia wakore wabu wabere we have projects that have already been approved, global grants that we have been given by Rotary International. So we are touching Kajado County, Homa Bay and Kisi. That will be able to reach a thousand households. They'll benefit from economic empowerment. They will come and tell us what projects they prefer in their region. If it is fishing, we'll support them. If it is beehives, we'll buy the beehives and train them and market for them the commodity. So it is a journey we'll work with the families starting from July on to till the completion of the project. We also want to expand our coverage into going into doing community projects inside the constituencies and also expand our outreach to Nyamira. So I really look forward to bringing everyone on board and to continue with what we have set up, set aside to do for the coming years through our strategic plans. And even as we go along and change leadership, we are hoping to touch more on schools, touch more on the girl child, touch more on the youth in terms of mentorship and mental health so that we are able to have our children stay in school and complete education and further themselves. So even as we go into the new year 2024, 2025, we hope and pray that we'll be able to work closely with the county governments to reach out to more communities, reach out to more students, and be able to support better. We hope for a good year.
Nince Franklin Mayunga.